As God's creation, all humanity is showered with God's blessings on a daily basis. And for those who are redeemed in Christ, the Lord bestows eternal blessings. Yet often Christians become distracted and dismiss God's goodness in their lives. Luke Tackett's podcast series this week is a needed reminder to be thankful for the blessings of God. Hello and welcome back to the Walk Talks podcast. Over the past couple days, we've been discussing the blessings that God has given us. We looked at spiritual blessings and material blessings, and then we yesterday looked at the dangers of envying the blessings that God has given to other people. Today, I want to look at stewarding the blessings that God has given us. What are we to do with things that God has blessed us with? Why has God blessed us? Certainly, God has blessed us because he loves us, and he loves to give us good gifts as our Heavenly Father, but they aren't just for us. He wants us to share his blessings with others. God has freely given blessings to us, and we should look for opportunities to bless others with what God has given us. The Bible says, Charge them that are rich in this world, that they be not high-minded, nor trust in uncertain riches, but in the living God, who giveth us giveth us richly all things to enjoy, that they, <clears throat> that they do good, that they be rich in good works, ready to distribute, willing to communicate, laying up in store for themselves a good foundation against the time to come, that they may lay hold on eternal life. Paul says in Second Corinthians, Moreover, brethren, we do you to wit of the grace of God bestowed on the churches of Macedonia, how that in a great trial of affliction, the abundance of their joy and their deep poverty abounded unto the riches of their liberality. For to their power I bear record, yea, and beyond their power, they were willing of themselves, praying us with much entreaty that we would receive the gift and take upon us the fellowship of the ministering to the saints. And this they did, not as we hoped, but first gave their own selves to the Lord, and unto us by the will of God, insomuch that we desired Titus, that as he had begun, so he would also finish in you the same grace also. Therefore, as ye abound in everything, in faith, and in utterance, and knowledge, and in all diligence, and in your love to us, see that ye abound in this grace also. I speak not by commandment, but by occasion of the forwardness of others, and to prove the sincerity of your love. For ye know the grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, that, though he was rich, yet for your sakes he became poor, that ye, through his poverty, might be rich. And herein I give my advice, for this is expedient for you, who have begun before, not only to do, but also to be forward a year ago. Now therefore perform the doing of it, that as there was a readiness to will, so there may be a performance also out of that which ye have. For if ye be first a willing mind, it is accepted according that a man hath, and not according to that he hath not. For I mean not that other men be eased, and ye be burdened, but by inequality, that now at this time your abundance may be a supply for their want, and that their abundance also may be a supply for your want. That there may be equality. As it is written, he hath gathered much, had nothing over, and he that had gathered little had no lack. God wants us to share what he has given us with others, and we should follow the example of the Macedonian believers and also the example that Christ has set for us. Christ was given all power and riches and authority, and he used that to bless us. He freely gave what he had to us and we should follow that example and freely share with others the blessings that God has given us. The Macedonian believers, it says, were in deep poverty. Um, they, they weren't rich, and yet they, had, they still had blessings that God has given them, and they chose to take those blessings and bless Paul with them. And Paul commended them for that. God gives us many, many things, and they really aren't for us to use for ourselves. 
we can, and there's nothing wrong with enjoying the blessings that God has given you, but you'll find that you can enjoy them even more if you share them with others, other believers, and also if we use the blessings that we have to bless someone that is lost, that is an opportunity to witness to them. You will have a much more joyful life, and your life will be glorifying to God if you learn to focus on him and the blessings that he's given you instead of wanting what he hasn't given you. If you focus on the blessings, it's so much better. Going through a day envying and and being dissatisfied with what you have, one, you know, that is grieving to God because he has given you all these things and you're discarding them like they're worthless because it's not you, you want something else. And I struggle with this sometimes There's when there's something specific that I want. And it, it just seems like I forget about all the other things that God has given me that I do have. Um, so it's it grieves the Holy Spirit. But also, from our perspective, you know, that, that kind of ruins our day, too, because then we're so focused on what we don't have and we're upset about it. Whereas we could be living a joyful Christian life by focusing on what God has given us and being thankful towards him. For everything that we have. Let us all live a life of thankfulness to God for the many blessings he's bestowed on us, and let us seek to bless others with what we have been blessed with. Choose to live in the light of God's blessings. Thanks for being part of Walk Talks today by listening and subscribing to our podcast. Follow us on social media to get sneak peeks at future episodes and to share your favorites with others who would benefit as well. We hope your heart has been enriched by God's word to take your next step in following Christ.